you've posted a lot on LinkedIn about your your leadership experiences, your pitfalls and your lessons. So I always find that that personal side of you really fascinating that, that you share that openly on LinkedIn. So any kind of tips or advice you'd, you'd give new practice? Yeah, I, I think if you're going to start a practice, you kind of have to do it for the right reasons. Um, there it has to be more than just money. Um, it has to be a certain level of passion. Um, you almost have to have a chip on your shoulder, uh, thinking that whatever you're going to do is going to be better than what's existing right now. Um, because if you don't, and you go in with a mentality that, Hey, I'm just going to open up shop. I'm going to be mediocre. I'm going to be, I'm just going to try to get a paycheck. My ultimate goal is to get paid. Um, it's not going to result in one happiness for you. And two, every time you try to chase the dollar, it's just going to be more and more elusive. You're going to make decisions that aren't really going to be for the right reasons. And your customer base is going to recognize that. Um, and I think if you go in with the mindset that, you know, I want to create, but I want to, and you know, the, the rest of the success will kind of follow. There's this old, uh, you know, Chinese proverb that's like, you can either chase the money or you can, allow the money to come to you and that is what we've always kind of held is that when we started up our, our practice like there were days where it's like I literally only had like maybe 500 bucks left in the bank account but I held true to certain principles and the way I wanted to practice and through that we were able to develop the trust develop the clientele and that growth went from almost nothing to an exponential growth over the five-year period 